and let me know if I sound more like a radio speaker. For vlogging outdoors, I have the uh, Rode Vita Micro and it's awesome for outdoor situations. At home and in my studio, I use the Boya BY-M1 and it's just great. Just, um, I, I wanted something else that allows me to use both like off frame, like a boom mic, but also something that gives me the possibility to do a podcast or voiceovers and things like that. But wait a minute, something's missing. Yeah, of course I forget my coffee. Just one second, I'll be right back. better with my coffee. So now I can talk about the new microphone, but after the intro. What's up guys, Dan Furlani here and welcome back to another video. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and since you're there, like, hit the like button. If not, Okay, let's dive immediately into the topic of today's video, which is a microphone, the Toner TC2030. For the videos in this channel, I've been using this lavalier microphone, the Boya BY-M1, for indoor shooting, like in studio, like here in this situation, and it works great. For outdoors, I have always been using the um, Rode Vita Micro, and these are both great budget microphones. One is awesome for vlogging outdoors, and the other is great for for in studio recordings like videos like this, interviews and stuff. The only downside is a very long cable that sometimes often it tangles and have to spend a long time to untangle it. But it does the job. It produces like pretty good results considering its price, which is like 20, 30 bucks times even less. Check the links in the description for availability and price. So basically because of this very long cable and it's not really comfortable to take it out for vlogging. I mean you could but mm, for outdoors this is way better and it sounds great. Just when you try to use it indoors there's a lot of echo and that's the first downside. And the second one, if you want to use it in a situation like this on top of the camera, mm, it wouldn't sound really good because it would be too far away from you. There would be a lot of echo. Mm, the quality would not be very, very good. Hold on one second, I'm gonna show it to you. And this is what I'm talking about. This is the audio from the road with the micro on top of the camera, which is like a little bit farther than arm length. It's not really far away but far enough to compromise the quality of the audio. Let's go back to the lavalier. Now back to the sound of the Boya BY-M1, the lavalier, and it sounds way better indoors. However, I got a new microphone, as I've already said, it's the Toner TC2030. Here it is. Alright, I'm not gonna do an unboxing, there's tons of unboxing of this microphone out there and they've already done a pretty good job describing every single piece of this kit, so I'm not gonna do that. I just want you to hear the difference from this Boya BY-M1 lavalier microphone and the Toner TC2030. It's a USB microphone, so you won't be able to connect it directly to the camera, but it's supposed to be plugged to the computer and use an app, something like Audacity or GarageBand, something like that. And then you will have to sync the audio with the video in post. But where's this microphone? Where is my Toner TC2030 right now? It's here. Here it is. <laughs> it comes with the 
with an awesome scissor arm and it's really long. You attach it to your desk table and it's very steady and sturdy. It also comes with some kind of beefy shock mount here, this one, windscreen and a pop filter. I mean, you're gonna have to use either one or the other. Uh, using both would be like an overkill. This is the first time I use this microphone and the audio you will hear would not be worked in post. It would be like straight from the microphone. Let's see. Okay, so now the audio comes from the Toner TC2030. Like, I just connected it to my computer, I opened Audacity and pressed the rec button and this is what it sounds like. I believe you can use it for any YouTube videos like this. I think the quality is not bad at all. Let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Um, right now there is no pop filter or windscreen, so I'm going to put the the windscreen here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put the microphone closer to my mouth, and let me know if I sound more like a radio speaker. What do you think about it? Can you use it for a podcast or a voiceover? or on a radio as a radio speaker again what do you think about it uh let me move it away from me a little bit let's see this microphone i think it looks great it's uh it's awesome it it, it doesn't look cheap even though the price is like i don't remember like between 70 80 bucks which is awesome if you think about it all the things you get like the arm is like really premium <laughs> and the, the shock mount is so beefy and good and it comes with the with the windscreen and with the pop filter so i mean i think it's great and you don't necessarily have to use it for a voiceover or for a podcast because you know like this i mean it looks good and the quality of the audio is just i mean it's decent it's good what do you think about it but let's say for some reasons, you don't want the microphone to show, to appear in the shot. Let's see if I move this microphone, like, um, just out of the shot, what it sounds like. Let me try one second. Okay, I think you can't see it right now, but it's here just out of frame and I'm speaking normally this is what it would sound like if you use it as a boom microphone so judge for yourself if this uh, Toner RTC 2030 uh, is good enough also as a boom microphone or if it's much better used as a podcast microphone like when it's in frame just let me know what you think about it. Back to the lavalier microphone, the Boya BYM1. And let's see, let's wrap it up. Do you need a cardioid microphone like this, the Toner TC 2030? Why would you need one? The positive things are that compared to the um, lavalier microphone, I think the overall quality sounds better or it's supposed to sound better. And reason number two, you won't have to be wired up like to attach yourself to this thing and to your shirt and to the camera so that if you need to get up and get something you might forget that you have this microphone attached to yourself and the camera and woo it might cause a disaster so with this microphone for sure this won't happen with the toner tc2030 or any like cardioid microphone because this is attached to the computer attached to the table and it won't go anywhere and it's a kind of versatile because as we as we have seen i think we can use it for the same purposes of the lavalier microphone, like to get a pretty decent audio indoors. And also, if you put it like very close to your mouth, it makes you sound like a radio speaker. It's suitable for podcasting and voiceovers and all these kind of things. And the price, like for this kit, it's just awesome. I think it's very difficult to find a microphone with all the accessories and everything for such a an expensive price. Uh, the downsides of this would be that one, you, you just can't vlog with it because I challenge you to carry this around. What do you think? And and the other downside which might affect your workflow is that you have to record it on audacity or any other like app like GarageBand and whatever and then you will have to sync the audio with the video in post think about it and again check out the links in the description for this microphone but also for all my gear 
Alright, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. I want to say it from here. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah. Yeah.